Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing great. Uh, welcome back. We're gonna do a short uh, review of uh, all the tools that I carry here in my pouch. Uh, it kind of gives you an idea if uh, perhaps you're missing a tool or you want to add uh, some tools to your uh, uh, everyday carrying uh, or personally uh, go around through what I have here is not everything that I use. I have uh, obviously other precision tool that I don't carry in this pouch. And uh, also I'd like to precise that this one is quite heavy. So I do not put this around my, uh, my waist when I work. I just hang it on a ladder or uh, take basically what I need. But I think uh, most of my important tools that I need and I carry with me are in there. And uh, I also have doubles. Uh, I always carry doubles like a uh, double uh, obviously knife I have many many of them probably 15 because I'm a huge knife fan uh, testers you always need one whenever you get a call from a job or you want to go do an estimate you want to have one in your car you want to have one at your house you want to have one in your tools um, this is the fluke one I like it because it goes on soft test mode and uh, there you go when the light flashes uh, you're on uh, on soft test mode and um, if you want to compare, let's say, to clients, this one I carry here at my house and I like it because it has the the, uh, the, the flashlight. Yeah, you can see that, quite nice. Uh, but this little guy doesn't fit inside the outlet. So you can read voltage, but only from outside. This one, you can just shove it in. And uh, I like that, you know, why not? So that's the... Uh, voltage uh, detector that I have here uh, I'm not uh, uh, promoting clients or anything although that I wish <laughs> I'm just a big fan of their tools this is a client tools electrician knife this is called electrician's pocket knife and uh, you can strip wires with this uh, I think 10 12 and 14 gauge and uh, well you could you could uh, I don't use to strip wire with this unless you're uh, you you don't have your wires uh, wire strippers or something. I basically use it uh, if you want to cut anything or maybe strip a piece of a wire down. It's quite useful. Uh, if not, it's always good to have. You always need to have a knife, and uh, why not clients? Right? This is very good, and I like it. I like how it feels in the hand. Uh, we have uh, I have this this. I don't know if uh, you guys have it in the in the U.S. Um, this I got from Gardner Bender, so they are EMT connectors uh, keys. So if you're in the electric panel and you sit down your connector and you want to make sure that it's really tight, and electricity you always have to go uh, tighter as possible, it's just safety precautions. So you go and you sit your key. This is half inch and this is uh, three quarter. Does it say it's on it? Maybe I'm wrong, hold on. Uh, three quarter, yes, and the uh, and half inch. Zoom boy. Okay, this is half inch. Sorry about the zoom. Uh, poor uh, camera quality. So you get your EMT tights, and uh, you're sure that they are tight as hell with this. No, uh, no mistake with that. I have uh, the flashlight. This is a Milwaukee pocket flashlight. This piece is in rubber, so you can put it in your mouth and light. I don't do that. That's disgusting. <laughs> My respect goes to everyone. I know everyone might use it. I personally, uh, if I don't need to do that, I don't do it. And uh, it has a lot of lumens. It's quite, it's an amazing, outstanding flashlight. I like it. I have this one. I have the clients also. Uh, but this one is, uh, I like it because it fits right in there. So I use it most of the time. Got the scissors, you never know when you need them. If uh, you're doing some uh, data cabling or uh, uh, Ethernet, uh, whatever, you use this. It's just more precise to cut small gauge wires. Those from, uh, I think it's uh, 22 and up, but you can use an 18 gauge. Those are, they're, they're solid, they can take it. And uh, this brand, Genipex, I think that's how you uh, properly spell it, made in Germany. I think everyone knows them, they're really good. I like it, they're uh, long reach, this is, uh, I think they're 10, 10 inches uh, uh, cutters, high leverage they call them, really good. They are very, very sharp. You can cut uh, through the BX, 
one shot without uh, even forcing your hand or anything. It's just cuts like butter. I really like them and uh, I love these tools. Over here I got uh, wire strippers, Klein with the spring load. So you just go like this and they're close and uh, like this you open to them. Yeah. So I like them, clients obviously. You got a solid and strained wire. This one does from uh, 10 to 20 on the, uh, this is uh, strained and the, the solid obviously is uh, 12, uh, 12 to 20 gauge, yeah. And uh, that's it. Small copper pliers from Canipex also, self-adjust. But here I like this ones, they really really nice. Uh, pretty much use them every day. Uh, bending, piping, just holding on to something that you want to unscrew or whatever. Whatever it is that you gotta do with them. Uh, for some reason I happen to use them a lot, so I recommend them. They're cheap, it's like $30 maybe, something like that. So it's good. I just noticed that uh, this guy is in here and I don't know why, has uh, no business in there. Uh, snap on, uh, this is what, 3.8 ratchet, no business at all in there. We go with the other tools. Uh, Lyman's plier, these are not the best because they don't have the crimper, but uh, they are clients, they are solid, I like them. And uh, I have another set that I, uh, that I use because I have the crimpers. So maybe I'll replace them, I don't know why these ones end up there. Uh, but uh, you guys are all familiar with clients. It's really good, good quality. Can't go wrong with this. Apparently, Knipex and the Weha they make also some really good lineman uh, pliers. But uh, I like clients. These ones are really good, and uh, I'm sticking to them. But uh, this is not the ones that I usually work with. As I, as I mentioned, if you want to crimp, you don't have the crimper. I have another set on my other tool bag. Let's put this aside. Uh, I got needle nose pliers for small gauge wire because you can also strip with this ones. This is made by Kleins. Uh, really nice, really sharp. And uh, I use also uh, regular long nose pliers. I think also this ones, yeah, you can strip, I think, uh, 14 gauge wire if I'm not wrong. You see the, uh, the notch right there. It's really good. Really, really nice long nose pliers. I remember once I was working on a ladder and uh, it was like a 20 feet high ceiling and there was a problem in the electric box. Uh, all wiring happens all the time, right? And it just shredded. And uh, if I didn't have these guys in my hands, I would have got electrocuted. It's not high voltage, but still, you know, I was very happy. I was working with them and uh, Carry them with me every day since. <laughs> we got uh, short Canipex cutters. Comes in hand. Uh, I like them. Just like the other ones. Uh, wh whoever comes out first of the pouch, I'll just grab them and use them. However, you don't have as much leverage as you do if you want to compare quick, quick uh, with, uh, with the 10 inch. So the size you can see right away what I mean. So this one's a cut man like razor knife. This one's a um, uh, double shot and then uh, you're through the BX. No matter what the size is. And uh, I don't understand why uh, Milwaukee, I don't know. Uh, this kit, I don't have it Philips, any Philips, but I like to work with them. They really get the job done. So this is Robertson number one, square number one tip. You got square number two, and just got a flat. No Phillips, it's a shame. Uh, they are a thousand volt insulated. So if you are doing a job and you cannot turn the power down, well, you go and work with this, which is really good. If not, I'll just catch the, uh, the Phillips that I need from this Milwaukee. This is a ratcheting screwdriver, ratchet action. It's not bad, I like it. Uh, I'll just show you something one second that I don't like from this screwdriver. And I use it, trust me, I use it a lot. And uh, if 
you want to get some adapters out there you go some of them come out easily some of them just don't <laughs> and uh, that's what I don't like so you got a Phillips here let's say maybe this one it's even harder to get out but none of not all of them are sometimes uh, well today all of them are there you go so I don't like that it would be just nicer if it would be easier to have access to them so this is the one that I use if I need a Philips, but I am convinced that I have, uh, yeah, in another tools uh, uh, bag, I have um, a thousand volt insulated Philips, so I'll just use it from there if I need to. If not, I'll just use this one, so it's not a big deal. And uh, last but not least, I really like this guy from Kleins. Magnetizer demagnetizer, I think right now. This screwdriver is uh, magnetized. I don't know if you can. There you go. It is magnetized, so I just got the screw. Lay it back down and I'll demagnetize it. For one pass, two, three, and you're not magnetic anymore. You want to magnetize that again? You one two three passes this tool is like ten dollars can't go wrong man look at that it's amazing very very useful and uh, that's it some tape rolls and uh, the actual pouch this is the uh, the serial number if you want to look at it 51647 from clients and this is the um, also clients the uh, the belt to hold the pouch but like I said this comes heavy quick with all these tools in it so I'll just put that on the ladder and uh, take what I need you know so that's it I hope uh, this video was helpful uh, might give you an idea of a tool that you need or you also can tell me in the comments uh, if you first like the video and second if uh, there is something that I should add to uh, the list I'm always open I'm a big tool fan and uh, that's it. Thank you for you. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoy. Till next time.